So here we got the Antiminer X3 and the power supply which I already opened. Uh, this is the power supply, the APW3++. We're going to go through the steps of uh, impa uh, open this up, open the box. It came from Antiminer and uh, set it up. So there is a, a guide and warranty. Uh, I think one of the most important part of this warranty is that uh, um, the environment where you put this it shouldn't go above of, uh, 40, gra uh, 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. And this is very important, so if you you don't overheat the the device. So um, let me take this out of the box. There it is. There it is. A brand new X3. I'm gonna cut this. Focus, this is a brand new X3. Looking good. So to connect the power supply to the X3, we have basically 10 jacks here. There's three hash boards and the control board right here and each hash, bo hash board has three connectors so three six nine and ten let's do this connect one by one here one so the, you can see that there's two wires that are like loose and the other are connected. I, I get the loose one. I get the loose one and um, use this to connect to the control board right here. And then connect the remaining wires here. Give a little close on the connections. So now we need to connect two more things. So there's the power supply that will connect right here, the, the power cable that I'm going to get, and the network cable that goes right there. Let me pause the video. I'll move to where I, where I have the cables and the and the power cable, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back here. I moved the X3 into miner to this table over here, which is close to my router and an outlet. This is not my uh, where I'm gonna leave it per per permanently, but uh, this is for the purpose of showing how to set up the X3 miner. So two things you need. It's a network cable. One side you connect to the router and the other you connect to the to the ant miner over here. And a power cable. This these two cables don't come don't come they, they don't come with the uh, with the device, so you're gonna need to get them. So plug both in. And you should see both like this, the anti miner and the power supply turned on.
as you can see they're both on let's see if we can I'm gonna focus on, on the fans two fans here the, this one and that one both running as they should be all the wires connected on top Network connected and blinking. So now we're gonna move to the UI to the computer. Um, now we can also see that uh, it's making a louder now noise. That's how it should be. Probably that means it's connecting to the pool, and uh, by default it comes and connects to the to the pool, the default pool, uh, the big main pool. We're gonna have to change that. So let me pause the video and go to the UI now. Okay, so first thing we do when uh, after we just plugged in our extreme miner is going, I, I, that's what I do always, I go to my router and check w what IP the router got, the, I'm sorry, the um, anti-miner got. In my case, it, it got the IP 192.168.1.80. So I'm just gonna change here to go to .1.80 and log in into my miner. And the first time we log in, it asks for a username and password, the default, Username is root, R-O-O-T, and password is the same, R-O-O-T. Hit enter, and then we should get to log in to the uh, Antiminer X3 UI. Okay, so now this is the factory default configuration I just plugged in. What is it doing? Like it's making a noise. Is it mining already? Yeah, it is, it is mining. We can we can check that. Let's check that really quick. Go to miner status, and we can see it's been up for one minute and two seconds, and it's been it, it the rush the sorry the hash rate right now is two hundred and thirty kilo hash per second, average is two hundred thirty two. It hasn't found a block yet. It's connected to the first pool here, which is alive, the end pool. So, but. And also another thing here is to mention this three, those three ha uh, hash boards right here. One, two, three. They're all zeros. They're all good. Fan is um, running in 1,830 RPM, so it's running pretty fast. It's gonna get faster. Um, it's mining. So, but I didn't put my wallet address there. Who's mining for? So basically, it's mining for Bitman. If you go to minor configuration, uh, you don't have a wallet here and it's connected to the inch pool. So it's mining for Bitmain right now. And we need to change this. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything. You're, gonna, you're not going to get any coin, any reward for being mining. So, uh, and it, if you live like this, Bitmain will get a reward for all your, um, for your mining here. So. First thing we need to do is figure out well, where we're gonna mine to. Like, um, we're gonna be using the superpools.online for this. Um, there's a website here that I already loaded at superpools.online forward slash profitability dash calculator. And that's gonna tell me which, moin, which coin is the most profitable right now to, uh, to mine. If I click on Antiminer X3, it says basically that Electronium is the most profitable right now, followed by Daryl. Uh, I'm gonna mine Electronium. So, click on Start Mining. And we're gonna need a wallet for this. I already have a wallet, so I'm gonna pause the video really quick here and get the wallet address. So my wallet address is already, I copied my wa wallet address. I'm gonna go to the Antiminer, remove this information from here. 
So I'm gonna paste my wallet address on the worker field. And on the URL field, I'm gonna get from the pool. So go to the pool website, etn.superpools.online, get started. The URL is etn.superpools.online. That's the Stratum URL. So you need to have Stratum plus TCP column forward slash forward slash plus the name of the pool you want to mine on. This looks correct. And the worker is your is your wallet address that you get. You can get from um, mine.electronium.com. I already got from here, right? So I didn't I didn't record that because I don't want you guys to see my credentials. I don't know. So just to be safe here. Um, another thing you can do here at the end of your wallet address is fix your difficulty, which will make your uh, mining more stable in this case. So you do a dot and the um, and the value will be six million six zero 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 zero. This is the the value that's been used around for the X3 miner and it, it's been working very well. The password field, it's not a password. You can use that to actually name your X3 miner, like you can tag it. You name it like X3 underline 01. If you have multiple, you can have X301, X302, X304 or so on. And then you click on save here and apply. When you click that, oops, actually forgot to put the port. It's not gonna work. At the end here, etn.superpools.online, you need to add a port in 9999 for X3 miner. So it's column 9999. I forgot the most important part. The diff is not necessary, but the port is necessary. I'm gonna save it again. Save and apply. If I go to miner, miner status, there's nothing there because the miners didn't start mining yet. It takes like a half a minute for it to start. So I'm going to pause the video really quick so I don't make this video very long and we'll come back. Okay, so the loud noise from the miner stopped. I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, and I see First thing I see here is that the, the status says dead. Um, and the reason is, see the URL here? When it, we typed, we didn't type double stratum there and it actually added a stratum, right? So this is wrong. We gotta go back to a minor configuration. And this is not what we typed. For some reason it added some characters there. So if I copy this here or Click on cut. I'll paste it on top here. I'm gonna fix this. I, I, this is the exact, I'm gonna put this on the uh, comments of the video. So it should be stratum plus TCP column forward, for, uh, forward slash forward slash etn.superpools.online column 9999. So copy this here. So I clean this up. See this, there's nothing there. Cleaned up, paste here. Make sure there's no other character. Make sure the wallet address is correct and you have a dot six million at the end. Password can be whatever you want, but I'm gonna keep X3 underline zero one and save and apply. We will hear the noise again. Good, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, come back in a minute. Noise has uh, stopped. I'm click on minor status now and okay now it says alive great so the kilo hash per second is 41 this will creep up with time so if I get my wallet address here and go to the pool go to this pool here and go to worker statistics paste the wallet address here without the uh, diff the dot six six million and click on lookup 
So it says less than a minute ago. When it says less than a minute ago, usually that means it's mining. And the crude hash rate just went to uh, 10 kilo hash and it's going up 20. And this will start creeping up, like I said, it takes a little bit until it gets to the, uh, the actual value. Um, if I go back to the end to miner and refresh this page, so it's here, it already says 238. So it's, it's in the pool side, it takes a little while until, until it gets to the, um, in the, the real, um, hash rate value. And um, here we have two worker names, the X301, which is the password field that I set here. Whatever you set here as a password will be your worker name. And I have one, two, three here. This is something that I tested previously and about an hour ago, see? So this is um, the default worker value that it comes with the bitman so this just forget about this so you see the fact this is going up and then we're, we will see the this go and should match about what it says on the minor status here the 220 230 or so on so i'm gonna uh, pause an, another quick pause here and come back after a little while to see if it it reached that that the the, ha the hash rate. All right, so just coming back here really quick, we can see that uh, the, the current hash rate went right now is two forty, so it's gonna vary a little bit. It can go up to like three hundred or something maybe 400 and can go as low as like, I don't know, a hundred or something. So it's gonna vary, but um, just, I just wanted to finish this video and thank you for watching and, and uh, I hope I see you next time.